welcome back to another episode of Just Your Average Baker. I'm Amelia, and in today's episode, we are going to be making seven layer bars. These are a holiday Christmas dessert tradition in my house. I'm going to be using my mom's recipe and typing it down below for you guys. I'm sure there are tons of seven layer bar recipes, variations, and whatnot online, but this is the one I'm using today because it's the one I grew up with. So let's go ahead and get started with what you'll need for these seven layer bars. Apologies that you could hear the dishwasher during the intro. Now on to what you'll need for today's recipe. I'm going to be using this reusable 9 by 13 inch um, aluminum pan. Preferably for this recipe you would use a 9 by 13 inch glass baking dish. My mom was going to loan me one, long story short, a snowstorm hit, couldn't drive over and get it. So this is what I'm using today. For the actual recipe, you'll need, as you guessed, seven ingredients. Half a cup of margarine, melted. One cup of graham cracker crumbs. One cup of coconut flakes. One can sweetened condensed milk. Half a package of chocolate chips. Half a package of butterscotch chips. And then some chopped nuts of your choice. And I am using walnuts. First things first, we have to melt the margarine. If you would like to make this exactly how my mother makes it and you have your glass baking dish, then you would melt your butter in your glass baking dish on your stovetop. Because I'm using this weird aluminum reusable pan and I don't want it to like, you know, burn on the bottom or whatever, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna melt it in my Pyrex dish. Half cup of butter, well, margarine. So these bars are actually super simple. Um, now we just put them in the pan in the order listed in the recipe, which again, I'm gonna type it up and list it down below. And that's pretty much it until we put it in the oven. So I'm just gonna start layering our ingredients now. All seven delicious layers. Now that we have layered all of our seven delicious layers into our pan, we're going to place this into our preheated oven that's set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let them bake for about 20 minutes or so or until it starts to pull away from the sides of the pan. I just took them out of the oven. They're very hot and they're golden brown and they had just started to pull away from the edges of the pan. Now I'm going to let them cool before I cut them into squares. We've come to what is usually my favorite part of every video, the tasting part. Unfortunately, today I am not going to taste one of these for you guys. I made them for a Christmas party they're having tomorrow, so I figured I should save them for my guests. Um, but trust me, they're delicious, they're easy to take out of the pan. I'm serving them in the pan because this one has the funny ridges and stuff and it just seems like a hassle to scoop them out. Um, but in the glass pans especially, very easy to get out of the pan. This one, if I was going to take them out, you just gently pull back on the edges. I showed it in the close-up. And then spatula, take them out. Pretty easy. They smell delicious while they cook. They smell delicious when they're done. They taste delicious. Just trust me. Um, sorry I can't taste one for you guys. I'm going to eat probably, probably most of them tomorrow at the party. Honestly. Very excited. We've made it to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this holiday seven layer bar Christmas baking extravaganza, then go actually like it, thumbs up it, whatever you do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this, more baking videos, candy videos, food related videos in general, and I will see you guys next week. Happy baking, bye. You guys, look how snowy it is here. We got like three or four inches which is exciting because we don't get snow very often here in Oregon, the part of Oregon I live in. It's so pretty. Boy, I can't wait to eat you tomorrow. Just cannot wait.